In this time of uncertainty around the world, it's easy for us to be distracted from the long-term view that our pension funds benefit from in order to achieve long-term goals. In this short video, we'll have an overview of the personal lifestyle strategy. We'll have a closer look at the factors that the personal lifestyle strategy takes into consideration when it comes to your investments. And we'll show you how you can find out more. There's a range of investment funds for you to choose from under your plan. The fund range though really can be broken down into two paths. We call these paths Be My Guide or I'll Decide and they really reflect how involved you might want to be when selecting your funds. The Be My Guide option is the Personal Lifestyle Strategy or PLS. It gradually and automatically moves your money from a medium risk growth fund when you're younger to a more appropriate investment fund as retirement approaches. Alternatively, the I'll Decide path is where you're in the driving seat and you choose from a range of fund options to tailor your investment choice to suit your needs. If you're somebody who's self-selecting, you're likely to be someone who has a good grasp on investments and the different asset classes and you're regularly checking in on your investment choice to ensure that it's still relevant for your needs in the future. We recommend that you seek financial advice from your broker or financial advisor as a part of your review. In these slides, we're gonna look specifically at the Be My Guide approach or the personal lifestyle strategy. The personal lifestyle strategy or PLS is by far the most popular option for new entrants across the plans we manage. The reason being is the strategy is designed to strike a nice balance between long-term growth on the one hand and managing volatility that your fund is likely to experience on the other hand. While you're young, while you're far from retirement and while you have time on your side to weather the ups and downs that the market will throw at you, you're invested in a growth fund. This is a medium risk fund and it manages volatility in two key ways. When we say managing volatility, we simply mean it aims to lower the impact of market falls on your fund and seeks to take advantage when markets are positive. So how does it do this? Firstly, it's invested in a wide range of asset types, assets that give returns at different times. This has an effect of reducing the amount of market volatility that you actually see in your pension fund. These asset classes are made up of equities or shares, bonds, property and cash. Within the equity portion, there's a feature called the Dynamic Share to Cash Model or DSC. So what makes this dynamic? Well, if there's a major downturn in the markets, this feature will trigger and it'll remove a portion of those volatile assets and it'll transfer that portion into a cash fund. This essentially removes the exposure of a portion of your fund from the falling share price. Other risk management tools within the fund also include portfolio rebalancing, currency hedging and an option strategy, all of which are reviewed on a regular basis with that long-term goal always in mind. Let's look at the second phase of the strategy and see what happens as you get closer to retirement. Starting 11 years before retirement, when you've less time on your side, the strategy will gradually and automatically start moving you out of that growth fund into a low-risk stability fund. The idea here is to further reduce the volatility that you're likely to experience. So as you can see, in the early years, the focus is very much on growth, while in the later years, it changes towards stability. This process of moving the growth fund off the table continues through to retirement, but six years out, the strategy does something very clever. Instead of simply replacing the growth fund with the stability fund, the strategy actually looks at how you're most likely to use your retirement savings at retirement. Over the course of five of the last six years, it will move you into funds that are the best match for the benefits that you're most likely to take in retirement. So if we summarize what happens in the personal lifestyle strategy, we see that the focus is very much on growth in the early years, but this is using a fund with built-in volatility management tools. Then, as you get closer to retirement, the strategy gradually removes the growth and initially replaces it with the low risk stability fund. Then six years from retirement, the final phase commences where your investment is moved into funds that best match how you're most likely to draw your retirement benefits when you retire. 
As you can see, the personal lifestyle strategy is quite sophisticated. So people who are unsure about investments may often be most comfortable with this option. It's important to remember that we're saving for retirement and we're saving over a long period of time. So that's your overview of the personal lifestyle strategy and the tools that it employs to manage investment risk as you journey towards retirement. We encourage you to get online and have a look at some of the other tools and information available to you. I hope this video has been of some benefit. Remember, if you have any questions, we're here to help.